we are. Okay, sweet potato pie. If you've never had a sweet potato pie, that means one of a few things. You still get around by horse and carriage. And there's no electricity where you live. Uh, I'm totally kidding. Sweet potato pie, if, you ever, if you've not had it, it's really good. And if you have had it, you probably love it. And that story all starts with this, this sweet potato. And this starchy, large, tuberous, sweet tasting root vegetable is pretty humble. But then you start throwing brown sugar and butter and honey at it. Wait, there's no honey. Brown sugar and thyme, it gets really proud. And it goes from, I'm just a sweet potato, to like, I'm a sweet potato. And he's got glasses on, and he's, he's smoking indoors. All right, so to cut the sweet potato, you can do it a couple ways. One with a knife, or you can use a mandolin. So with a knife, I just like to go like that and prop it up so you can slice it and then just go really thin with it. Not too thin, but that's perfect. Because there's a lot of starch in it and it's really nice and sweet, it likes to break down. So don't be shy about giving it a thick cut. Or you can use the mandolin, which makes quick work of anything and then you can just push it through, but watch your hands. And again, it gives you a really nice slice. So you just gotta slice some yams. Let's do it. Okay, so once the yams are really nice and sliced, you want a nice cast iron pan to cook it in. Uh, and here's a great tip. I like to put a bit of parchment paper in the pan so it doesn't stick. So there's a couple ways you can do that. One, get a nice piece of parchment paper and fold it, right, just like that. And then keep folding it just like that. You're with me? And you come around the horn. And then when you kind of have like an arrow, you go into the middle of the pan and you measure out and then that's where you cut it and you get a perfect circle. Okay, that didn't work, but this will do. So put it in the bottom. <laughs> you want to get it nice and covered and it's going to make it non-stick. And then, so this is really cool. So the bottom is going to be the top. So you want to make the bottom look really nice and pretty. So what I like to do, Excuse me. It's my melted butter. Thank you, you're welcome. Okay, so <laughs> you wanna make it really nice and pretty and you want them to overlap a little bit so they really stick together. There's some nice starch in the yams, so you wanna get it to stick together. And like I said, the bottom is the top so you can take your time here. Get them really nice and close. And then I do, one layer of yam and then I really like to season it. So get the yams in there, make the bottom look really nice and pretty. So I hit it with a little bit of melted butter, just like that. And here's your chance to get some really good seasoning on it. So just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. All right, and yams have a lot of sweetness in it. So you wanna kinda play with that sweetness and pull it out a little bit. Now you could use regular white sugar, but brown sugar is really cool. It's really gnarly. It's got some great texture to it. And brown sugar has a bit of molasses in it. And the brown sugar and the molasses and the yam, it's just delicious together. But not too much. You don't want it super, super sweet. A little bit of brown sugar and then some fresh thyme. Yes. Thyme and yams and brown sugar are really good friends. And you can just take it like that, pull it down and hold all the leaves in your hand and then just sprinkle it on. So that's perfect, that's perfect for the layer. Get the yams in there, really nice and pretty, salt, pepper, brown sugar, thyme, and then repeat the process till you have a really nice cake. All right, time to go to work.
right, so this is a nice layered sweet potato pie. I know it looks a little funky because it's up in the middle, but trust me, when it cooks down and those yams relax and soak up all that sugar, it gets really nice and flat and cakey. Awesome. In the oven, 350 degrees. Let it roll, baby. My sweet potato pie, it's my birthday. Just kidding. <laughs> So the yams are really nice and naturally sweet, and because I just layered it in butter and brown sugar, I want something salty and crispy to offset all that sweetness. So I thought uh, bacon crumble. Yeah, that's gonna work. Nice full fat smoky bacon, and I like to really cut it up and get it into nice small pieces, and I need to put on a pan. Hold on one second, one second. You wanna warm up the pan so you can render the bacon. That's great, and let the fat come out. You good? Are we doing this again? I told you, last time. I know, it's, I, but we talked about this and you weren't gonna, I, to, I was telling, I was gonna put you on TV. Okay, we're gonna use your brother. You wanna do that? Grounded. Wait, here. Okay, we're good, get the pan on, and then just as the pan heats up, I like to throw the bacon in there, kind of slowly. It's a fancy term, it's called rendering, but if you start with the pan not so hot, it'll just pull the fat out of the bacon, and get it really nice and crispy. All right, this is really, really good. When you see some crispy bits starting to happen, that's a really good sign. And lots of people like to take that bacon fat out and save it, but keep it in there because I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs and the breadcrumbs drink up all that fat and it's gonna make the nicest, crispiest, crunchiest topping for the sweet potato pie. Let it roll, let the bacon get really nice and crispy. Who doesn't love the smell of cooked bacon? Honestly, the dogs are barking, kids are freaking out. So panko is one of my favorite breadcrumbs. It's a little electrified bread, and it's really nice and fluffy. So if you just get a handful in there, it'll soak up all of that bacon fat, and it makes the nicest, crispiest, crunchy topping. Yes, you can see immediately, like it's soaked up all the bacon fat, and then just keep it on the heat a little bit, let it soak up, toast the panko, and that's got crunch, it's got texture, it's got flavor, and then on that soft, sweet potato pie, a little bit of sour cream and chives, you're laughing. So good, you can hear it. Sweet potato pie. See what I told you? It cooks down and it gets really nice and flat, and it's hot, so here's a trick to unmold it. All right, here we go, so that's hot. So the plate goes on, and then the plate's gonna be really hot, so protect your hand with a plate, and you're gonna have to flip it once and just go for it. Woohoo! Sweet potato pie! And remember I told you that the bottom was gonna be the top, it is. So if you take your time there and make it really nice and pretty, check that out. You get a beautiful potato pie and it's hot and it's steamy and it's delicious, but check out the layers. It's all about the layers. And it's really nice and soft. The sweet potato is not like regular potato. So it's got a nice fudgy quality to it and check out these layers. Yeah, it's all about the layers. And we're honoring the sweet potato. Just a little brown sugar, butter, salt, pepper, and thyme. That's delicious. All right, but I'm not finished yet. Because it's nice and sweet, uh, to counteract that, a nice sour cream. And this one's pretty thin, which is nice. I put the sour cream on it. And it's all about balance, right? That potato's really nice and sweet. And then you get some tart sour cream. Now you're laughing. But I'm all about a lot of texture. And this bacon crumble is great because this packs all the flavor. It's sweet, and then you got that sour hit from the sour cream, and then some bacon crumble on it. Now you get the crunch, right? Bacon, sweet potato, sour cream, you see where I'm going. It looks so good! And then just some chives to finish it, because you know, chives, sour cream, they're best buddies. You know, bacon, chive, sour cream, you see where the story's going, right? Full of love. Seriously, check that out. 
I know it's a sweet potato pie, but this one's got a really cool twist on it, and it is packed with everything lovely. Sweet potatoes, tart sour cream, bacon crumble, chives, brown sugar, butter, thyme. I mean, I just want to live in there. But I can't, because I'm a human being. <music> Now I know this isn't a traditional sweet potato pie, but this is my take on it and I think you're gonna love it. It's quite awesome. And it looks pretty too. I love the layers, it cuts easy. You have the front. It's so delicious, honestly try it. The sweet potato is really nice and creamy and it's not overbearing. A little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of butter, some thyme, salt and pepper, delicious. Sour cream, cuts right through the sugar. Bacon crumble, really nice and salty and crunchy. All right, sweet potato pie, baby.